I didn't really start. Yeah. Oh, all right. So uh, I was uh, laying in a tanning bed, and I came up with more Kung Fu Panda. So you guys probably know what it's about. Um, you know how Poe or whatever has all of his um, relatives he finds in Kung Fu Panda three and a half or whatever. Well, they're gonna be employed in the next movie because you see what happened was, as I already explained, um, there's an evil snake sorcerer and there was an ancient kingdom across from where, you know, the duck has his restaurant and there's those people, peasants hanging out. And a long time ago, there were two kingdoms across from each other and they were super warlike against each other. But, you know, they agreed to not kill each other even though they hated each other. So then there's all that animosity. So then, out of all of their, you know, uh, like, gardens, they make, like, terracotta clay warriors when they die, you know. And um, then it's like they'll be reincarnated into the terracotta warriors, you know, the whole thing when uh, they get, they're called upon by their leader. So instead, uh, the evil snake, who's like, you know, the leader's, you know, right-hand guy who betrays him, you know, he's like come back as the sorcerer, and he's got, you know, he's like a cobra, and he's got like this big heart-shaped hood, and he's got like this devilish expression, he's always slithering his, you know, his tongue up into both nostrils. So anyways, um, he wants to like um take all of the terracotta warriors but he's found that they've broken down into bamboo you know growing in a big grove where the terracotta temple complex courtyard was so then he summons them back as bamboo warriors and then um there's like uh the crane you know he's like sees it happening because he's like flying over the mountain to like you know fuck a hot you know bird on the other side or whatever so uh, he sees the, the bamboo warriors. So then their scheme is, is they have to have all of the um, pandas eat all of the bamboo to keep it from being possessed anymore. So then um, it's like all the warriors are going in and they're like fighting the bamboo warriors and with the big old, you know, different techniques like, uh, you know, they're bamboo, so they like have blades, but they're like super wispy. So like they're coming in like, you know, Paul with the big old uh, long like wooden spear staff that's thick and like smashing them both directions and like breaking into bits, you know? So then like they have to have like the high speed like rabbits and stuff come in and like grab the bamboo bits before they can reassemble. And then they rush them back to all the panda populace to, you know, consume them in their big feeding troughs as they, they wear down through the enemy that's trying to still attack mindlessly the other kingdom that isn't there anymore. And then, um, finally, uh, the evil snake, he takes the rest of the bamboo bit warriors and he makes a giant, like he starts building, like it's like a structure around one of those skyscrapers of bamboo and it keeps building actively. So then it's like creating all these shapes as they're like smashing it and like devouring it as like, you know, from below at the feet like you know and then like the Poe and his mighty warrior friends are up fighting you know up inside of it epically and Poe gets up into the head of the thing and there's the snake in there you know and he's all fighting him for control of the giant bamboo warrior beast and it gets real epic you know I, I kind of already explained that in the tanning bed though so whatever so, you know, for the Kung Fu Panda 4 finale, you know, he's fighting him in the, in the giant, you know, bamboo bot in the head area. Um, well, the snake does his, like, classic, like, you know, squeeze a room move on him. Um, the uh, super chokehold where, you know, he wraps his uh, snake. Um, oh, I'm trying to get this camera to work. Anyways, the snake... Um, length around either around under either armpit and then coils it around the neck you know and you know supposed to choke him or whatever and then he goes so then like kung fu panda in order to, to, to break the hold he has to embrace the flow of of as his you know doc father always says the true chi flow you know which is your appetite so then you know he enormously swells up with a burp, you know, and it breaks the snake's hold as he belches enormously. And uh, that's that's just a good lesson to everyone. <laughs>
<laughs> no, it's really not. It's just funny. It's a moral lesson in rhyme. <laughs> totally. Isn't it? Poe's doc father reveals the true past of Poe, how he got in shape is that, you know, it's all, he's super evil, you know, parental figure, and there's that whole thing where there's the grill that slides open and his evil duck eyes are there, and he's all like, so, did you eat all your rice? And then Poe's like, yeah, and then, like, he's gotta, like, do it again as, as an adult. It's like a super sinister movie, supposedly, because all he, he's, like, stuck in the ninja like training academy of the duck and so he has to climb over progressively harder walls to get to food that you know makes him feel like a fat ass so then he has to keep training with what's available in the different sections of the temple and then get to the next area because he's got to become a champion you know bamboo eating warrior because he's got to defeat the you know enchanted bamboo warriors and it's a difficult task I don't know. It's this is uh, maybe I'm going insane. I don't know. <laughs> the whole point is Poe has to consume the magical sugar essence out of the bamboo warriors. You know, suck all the energy into themselves because he's he's hungry. You know, he's he's the he's the uh, wolf climbing the mountain. You know, or whatever. <laughs> Suddenly starts referencing me. Yeah. Because I, I thought he looked a little bit like, not a wolf, but a type of dog with the stupid, like, gentle... Also, Poe has the black rice. You know, volcanic rice. So he gets all steamy hot, you know. And as he's exercising, building big muscles for the ladies in the audience, you know. There's, like, you know, steam coming off of him. Like, he came off of me, you know, when I exercise. When it's, like, cool. Yeah, Poe turns into a bodybuilder. Yeah, he turns into a bodybuilder in the training montage. <laughs> but a ninja edition. That's what I'm saying, man. Oh, God. That's good. You know, he's got to be like... Then you got to have, like... You know how they always go into terrible rap music where... Oh, yo, an epic, yeah! Instead, you do that, but it's like an Asian-like version of it where it's like an Asian voice that's not deep, but like kind of like rapping retardedly. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, the reason why and he's like doing has... like crunches, you know, over the railing of like the edge of like the temple, you know, <laughs> and like you know, lifting, you know, throwing bags of rice onto the wagon, you know, that he's gonna eat later. Different stuff, you know. So Kung Fu Panda is training in the temple courtyard, and then his old master, all glowy, like comes down on like the moonbeam like coming through the clouds as he's like all silvery and then Poe's all like whoa are you really there and he's like no you idiot I just uh I'm just back to tell you something then he like shows him how in the main temple room like actually secretly underneath the um floor like you know all the all the bricks fall away and like slide to either side and then below there's like um these like plinth areas with like these like runes engraved on them and then he like says you know he's been saving the secret of like the energy power up runes cuz it'll only work once in your life cuz if you try to use it again you'll just like fall over unconscious it won't work again you know you won't have the energy flow to do it again so then like you know he's warns him about the uh, upcoming danger of the invasion without giving too many details so it's mysterious and spooky and then um starts to fade away you know so then you have the power up scene where they all stand on the different plinths and like different colored flames you know shoot up around them with different, like, you know, magical burning, like, you know, fire incense. And then, like, you know, they all take different stances and it goes super 3D mode as, like, it spins around and, like, shows how, like, the energy's, like, going into their forms for the different, like, animal power-ups, you know. So, like, Jackie Chan's monkey, he gets, like, you know, like, super, like, cleaver karate chop fists. So then he's, like, you know, flipping around in the bamboo all over the place in like strange angles like you know how a cat can like flip around in the spine well, like small monkeys can do that but they also have four hands so then you can imagine he's like 
all the bamboo spears are coming at him in different directions and he's twisting all over and grabbing the spears and fulcruming all over and like using them as like springboards to like jump all over and like cleave different you know enemies and lines in half and stuff be super epic and then it gives him a chance to use his imagination and really uh get his old crippled man body back in action you know at least mentally so we can start training again um i'll think about the other characters later